Welcome to our channel, Trend Craze. The topic that we'll be discussing today is Nick Cannon exposes Kim Kardashian for ruining him. But before we start, subscribe to our channel and don't miss any updates. What comes through your mind when we talk about Kim Kardashian's dating history, flings, and whatever she had with the Hollywood personalities? Are we all thinking about the same incident, the sex tape video leak? To be precise, the sex tape video leak is Kim Kardashian's only effort that made her name in and outside the Hollywood industry. And for a matter of fact, Kim's sex tape video leak was a boost to the Kardashian family acting and modeling careers. Speaking of the same, Kanye West himself has agreed to that fact. He exposed Kylie Jenner's rise to fame via music video. Moreover, West has a diverse opinion on Kylie Jenner's fortune and a million dollar net worth. The ex-husband of Kylie's older sister, Kanye West, states that Kylie Jenner was just 10 years old when the popular reality TV series Keeping with the Kardashians made its appearance in 2007, which concluded her in growing up. While being in the limelight, the program has attracted how much Kylie Jenner has developed over the years, not only physically, but also as a lady. Moreover, her interest shifted drastically from regular partying and common teenage enthusiasm to becoming a mom and one of the world's most prosperous businesswomen, even approaching the age of 21. As stated already, the Kardashians were not known to the business till Kim determined to deliver a sex tape video with the guy Ray J in 2007. In addition, Kanye West presented his opinions clearly concerning Kylie Jenner in a newly leaked video where Tyga, Kylie's ex-boyfriend, performed in one of the scenes in the video. In the footage, Kylie was seen appearing from between Kim's legs as if she was being born from Kim. With no wonder the word was for the Jenners and the rest of the Kardashian siblings. While the director of Kanye and Tyga's video verified their remarks in an interview with E! News, Eli Russell directed the complete song who's previously worked with Kanye West. He stated that the video symbolizes Kylie's rise to fame in the metaphorical meaning that she wouldn't bear where she is today without Kim Kardashian. Adding on, the director also revealed that the video wasn't released on purpose until now. To be precise, the video was distributed by Tyga, who was Kylie Jenner's ex-boyfriend. Tyga shared the video on Instagram, writing, I directed this three years ago. No one's ever seen it before. That was all about how Kim Kardashian had built up the careers of her sisters. Now, we will see how she's ruined the careers of people close to her, whom she even dated once. Yes, we are talking about Kim's ex-boyfriend, Nick Cannon. Until Cannon officially became a full-time father of his seven children with four different women, the American comedian dated none other than the new billionaire, Kim Kardashian. Well, after being quiet for many years now, Nick Cannon explained that Kim Kardashian's sex tape with Ray J demonstrates the beginning of the end of their serious relationship. But when and where? To start with, the 40-year-old American comedian star recently appeared on the Drink Champs podcast because she nearly exposed Kim Kardashian. He even stated that his long years ex, Kim Kardashian, lied about her 2007 sex tape with Ray J while she was officially dating him. Speaking of the same Nick Cannon, who had a romantic relationship with Kim Kardashian, dated her from 2006 to 2007. The guy stated all the backstory of the past events. Cannon said that he even remembers the time when he was literally into Kim Kardashian, and they were even on some serious. It was getting serious. Though he loved her like any other, Kim eventually broke Cannon's heart. Adding on to that, he continued, then it started being those rumors going around that it was this tape. When I asked her about it, she refused. Of course, Cannon had a lot to reveal about Kardashian's evil side when he continued to allege that Ray J, now 40, even warned him about the same. Ray is my man. Like, Ray even gave me a little forewarning <laughs> before. <laughs> well, that means Kim Kardashian used to provide every detail to Ray J regarding what was happening between the two. Nick Cannon revealed, I saw Ray J out on Rodeo Drive. I was holding Kim's hand and literally from across the street he was like, you ain't gonna want to keep holding her hand soon, watch. And I'm thinking he's just hating. Well, that was unexpected of Ray J. Stating facts, Nick Cannon and Kim Kardashian's relationship was actually evoked after Kim and Ray J dated. However, before the sex tape leaked in 2007, it was never the same. Nick Cannon stated people didn't know. They were like, who's that chick with Nick? She's bad. And then a year later, probably when the tape came out, I believe the tape was made prior to me in my mind because it looks like the people I was with her first and then a year later or whatever the tape came out. But I think that tape was an older tape, but it looks to the public, it was Nick, and then it was the tape. I believe Ray J knew her before I did, Nick Cannon added. Probably a year later when the tape came out, I believe the tape was made prior to me. To no surprise, Nick Cannon and Kim Kardashian were over. It ended right there after Kim's sex tape video with Ray J was out, and the video leak was the only cause of their split because it ultimately created stress in their connection. The comedian stated that his agent eventually directed him to unplug because he stated, I only knew at the time that my team was studying abort the mission. Speaking about Kardashian's relationship with Jay, the two dated before Ray J grew popular intermittently from 2002 to 2006. 
Moreover, the last month he lashed out at his former manager, WAC100, because Kim Kardashian claimed to have a second sex tape with his ex. For once wondering who was WAC, the guy's full name is Cash Jones. Cash revealed in a podcast last week that he had more clear shots of his ex, which he would deliver to only Ray or Kim's separate husband, Kanye West. Wait, 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 wait. So there's another Definitely. Ray J. Kim K sex tape? That's, yeah. That we haven't seen. Yeah, that was more graphic and better than the first one. Is it ever going to see the light of day? I mean, I wouldn't, me personally, I would never give it to anybody but Kanye. Ray can't hold his aggression while he responded to Instagram writing, This ain't cool, I've been staying off the radar. Just staying focused and being humble and thankful for all the blessings I'm receiving. How can I show growth and maturity if this kind of stuff just keep happening? Adding on, he continued, I'm a father now and my job is to be a great parent and put them first. This is not the message I want to send out, shaking my head. Besides, recently, King Slayer and Mattis Singer dismissed the presence of unreleased sex tape videos to follow up on the first film that gave her a household name. The contention that there's an unreleased sex tape is invalid, he informed TNZ. It is unfortunate that people make these statements to try and get their 15 minutes of fame. The previous manager of Ray J alleged to have Kim's unreleased second part of the tape when he recently arrived on the bootleg Kev podcast. In addition, Wack claimed to have the second part on his personal laptop, which was more graphic and better than the first part, and affirmed that he would just give videos that he had never seen before to her estranged husband, Kanye West. It's the mother of his children, he said. To be precise, Kim recorded a sex video with her then-boyfriend, Ray J, in 2002, which was leaked into the public domain in 2007 when Kim Kardashian and her family were planning to launch their e-reality show. However, even Kim got something to say for actions. Kim Kardashian discussed the video in an early episode of the series when her sister, Kourtney Kardashian, questioned why she contended to shoot that video. Responding to the same, Kim stated, Because I am and I like it. Moreover, Kim Kardashian accepted the fact discussing the videotape in the first season of the show has helped her process her emotions. In an interview with the Los Angeles Times, the new billionaire admitted that talking about difficult events on the show helped her deal with events in her life. I do think that obviously as producers, I'm sure they loved it, and loved us wanting to talk about the elephant in the room and I probably wouldn't have unless it was for the show. Sometimes I feel like, okay, I know I should probably deal and get this over with, someone's gonna ask me, so I might as well just go ahead and do it. Adding on, Kim concluded, in a way, filming has helped us deal with things instead of sweeping them under the rug. At the end of the day, I was always open and honest and wanted to share whatever I was going through. I wasn't gonna hold back. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please like it and subscribe to the channel Trend Craze. Please let us know your thoughts in the comment section.